Could I interview you at this point? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So the zoom comes in. Dark, smooth, volcanic stone. And then it breaks out. Yeah. Well, he could, because Richard could go on and walk. Yeah, take it. Take Direct it, so I don't think you Yeah, actually, I'll go to your marks, and then I'll take the zoom across. Two across, and yeah. then kind of go to where we you. Oh, and so yeah. you're pretty yeah. to do the chest yeah. are you going to do uh, yeah. Very yeah. 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 We'll leave it there and back to it. Okay. Uh, 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 I will let you have one's film this process um, and play the back. Uh, the whole thing resembles slow and the way you are to go the way It's a bit close. <laughs> What's that? So the report. Oh, tea break first. Or is it too early? I think that might be a little late. This is kind of spoken, but it's different because it's like, this is... This could, it could work in the next bit I'm reading, actually. If it burns over it, and then it kind of takes over, and then kind of maybe it goes back in. Maybe it could come in and out, maybe. Maybe. What happens is the dog says, um, there's a, there's, a, there's a trouble of uh, of air, of warm air which is sat over the village green and I have to, in order to get to the cold on the other side, I have to sort of uh, walk around it. Like yeah. Feet on the trail. In the mirror. Yeah. At the end of the thing. Before you can get off the stage, oh, he comes on an interview with you. Actually, that could be like what I mean, a yeah. bit of light relief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So is this, is this script that you're doing going to be run straight through or is it uh, no, mingled in with other things? It's mingled in. It's, it's a melange. A melange. Of uh, textures. Visual. It sounded like Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> visual, visual and vocal. If you'd have said it was a fucking melange then it would have been a bit more yeah, Gordon Ramsay. What does he make? Melon. Money. <laughs> Money. Is one of the parts of, of the whole Sunday League thing that things dip in it, dip in and out. So it's not. Is it? Yes. Is that is that definitely. the the ideal situation? That's definitely one thing that it's going to be like. Yeah. And we're trying to not make it different acts. People doing things. That are, uh, and Alex's script or Alex's story, initial story, has helped to bring the whole thing together, but under one roof which is more interesting, which means you're actually bringing the thing into a whole story. Not necessarily a narrative that you understand, but it helps bring the stuff together so it's not separate uh, separate work. I right. think you explained that incredibly well, actually. Wait, just there? Yeah, I All think right. I actually understand it. Okay. It's supposed to be back. What is something that's roughly coherent that doesn't have to make any sense? Yeah. What, what are you doing, Brian? Uh, I'm getting some white gaffer tape. To and what are you talk. doing with the Sunday League? Uh, I'm looking at creating environments uh, with projections and lights. And, well, not, not so much lights, mostly projections, OHP and uh, VF projections. Real so time? What? Real time. So on the night? Yeah. So you're mixing like hi-fi high and lo-fi? That's it, yeah. Comic environments. And he, do you find it easy to incorporate the cartoon element that I know you're interested in, in what you're doing with this group of people? Yeah, uh, because I'm thinking about it in terms of environments and backgrounds and settings. So I'm kind of moved away from characters. It's uh, an event that combines many different people's ideas and tries to find a way for them to exist as one thing. Is it successful? In its preparation stage, yeah, it's more pro it's more it's been more productive than uh, it could have been. It has been more productive. It's been more productive been more than it could, it could have been. It could have been chaotic, right? And uh, it seems to be moving along at some sort of pace. And what
What's that? Come, it'll be good. <laughs> this is where the magic happens. Yeah. Theatre. This is not a show. Please take a flyer. <laughs> this is not a show. Yeah. <laughs> We're not showing anything. It's not safe. <laughs> what are you doing, Patrick? What am I doing? Yeah. Working out the timeline. Timeline? Timeline for the, for the evening. What point is it on now? We're halfway, I think. No, we, we should stick to an hour. Should be an hour, I think. It's out of focus is how it starts. That's, that's not yeah. the time, right? How it starts. Alex starts reading. How long is that? Maybe about a minute or something. Right. Not even that, probably like 30 seconds. Emma takes the, the screen map. Yeah. And he finishes I'm off for about a minute. Okay. Right. Basically, we've just tried to kind of Keep it, keep it varied, keep the speed at an interesting rate. I think it's all about the, the pace. Pace? Yes. Yeah. I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be um, an interesting, interesting thing. Are you nervous? No. So it won't be too much about, well, what do you, you know, what you, what's your work about? I don't want questions like that. I think that's too, you know, you know, too serious, but I don't want it also to be a funny line or, you know, to, to create something that's too too comic. Just like a diversion. Yeah, and, and without it being too forced, I suppose. So the people who are going to be receiving the questions don't know what you're going to ask them? There'll be one or two who do, but yeah, the other people, that, no, they won't. You know, it might come in just as a little sound bite, but it might develop into something further, you know. Have you done work like this before? Not like this, really, no. Is it going all right? Yeah. What, sort of, what sort of stuff do you usually do? Uh, well, the reason this is different is because I just usually write stuff by myself and then perform it. Right. I've just been asking everyone what, what, what they're up to really and yeah. how it's fitting in with the whole, whole thing. Well I really don't know a great deal about what I'm up to and right. I'm not sure how it's going to fit into the whole thing just yet. But Perfect. Hopefully, um, I think you can kind of film it. It seems like a piece of text that you've presented to this, this group seems to have become a, a structure for the, the, the finished thing. Is that, was that your, your plan? Well, we, when we were coming together to talk about things, um, no one quite knew what it was going to be. We all, well, the people who, who did it, who did the, the Sunday League last time, kind of decided that there were interesting elements, but maybe it lacks a certain structure, a cohesive, you know, as to it. So, I, I was talking about the idea I was, I had to do with the journey, like you know, a trip to the co-op, and well, that quickly became uh, people just said, "Oh, that's that's something we can use for like a backbone to the idea." So yeah, it's the layers and the um, the in inextricableness of it, of it, you know, and how they how the different um, ideas play together and come into the come into the, this um, overarching journey idea to a certain extent, but also how they are completely at odds with it and you know uh, abstracts in that way. You know. I think the fact that, that, that there's a journey there is is a is a, a help and a hindrance at the same time, and um, it's. The fact that it's, uh, it poses certain problems that uh, will hopefully get, get us to, to think in different ways. Mm.